So, uh, can we talk about what's going on online right now? Uh, there's some serious leaks going on with Forge for Halo Infinite, and I don't know what I can talk about or what I can show, but it's happening, guys, and I want to talk about it. So, let's get right into the information here. So we're finally getting a little bit of an insight what's going to be involved with Forge for Halo Infinite. As we do know that it's planned for Season 3, which will come around probably like August, September time frame, sometime after in the later half of 2022. Obviously, the exact time has not been confirmed as we're still waiting on a roadmap from 343, which as soon as we get that, I'll make sure to share it on the channel with you guys. But over the last couple days, the Halo community has been buzzing over some leaks about Halo Infinite's Forge. Now, it's quite surprising that these leaks have stayed online for quite some time. I'm not trying to jump on it right away because I'm waiting to see like what kind of interesting things pop up. And this Forge, guys, is looking really really interesting and i know with these leaks that we're just scratching the surface which is pretty crazy to think about there are a few things that were showcasing these leaks i kind of wanted to talk about with you guys so one thing is that they showcase like the menu or basic menu of forge online with like very interesting types of customization you can change maps from what we've seen right now now from the leaks that we've seen we haven't seen any maps created with forge and what that looks like but we've seen a few bits of like scrolling in videos of like the different assets within the world and things like that. The cool thing that caught me when it came to the one of the Forge leaks within the menu is the term biomes. It looks like you can actually be able to change that because they later on leaked out an image of what fragmentation looks like completely covered in snow and it's really freaking cool. Uh, it's definitely doesn't look like super nice well polished but that's pretty much like it looks really good for like an overall coating, I guess you can call it on the world of a map where you just call it, make it snow. And then it basically does that. Now, how much customization you have beyond that, I'm not totally sure. Um, I don't know if I can really trust these leaks a whole lot about the details of everything, but we get a really good idea of like what kind of stuff is out there for sure. Uh, another kind of really cool biome kind of setting that they changed up with uh, the map bazaar was the lighting, where the lighting looked actually like really dark, like it's actually night, not like, purple or blue but like really bright out like i'm sure you guys all know this map right here deadlock from halo Infinite's multiplayer which is set like at night but when you're playing through it it definitely doesn't really like look like nighttime but that's because you need to you know produce the lighting for it to be functionally possible to play multiplayer without like people hiding in the dark corners of random locations and we came across this as well when it comes to the halo infinite campaign as well but i've heard that as long as you kind of turn down the contrast a bit then it actually does look more like nighttime so this nighttime that i'm seeing right now with bizarre like it actually Actually, it looks like nighttime which could create some really cool like atmospheres for especially the infection game modes which I think that's much more of the setting for it uh, though you can also probably pull off some really fun kind of like modes where like maybe the player that you're trying to kill is invisible and all the other players are like trying to find the invisible player at night yeah that would be kind of terrifying and also a really fun game mode to create it kind of plays off like the predator mode that we had back in like halo 3 where they were invisible with a spartan laser trying to pick off everybody else before they get killed uh, so something like a true nighttime experience would be really awesome to play around with with forge and it just shows like the possibilities of this content that we have coming around the way hopefully this year still for halo infinite and it's very very promising if you guys remember infection maps like crypt right here from halo 5 that it definitely has a very dark kind of nighttime kind of environment but when you see the spartans walking through it they're unaffected by the lighting as well or you can see some of the screenshots here that it's um it doesn't really look like the lighting touches the spartan and it also really kind of breaks that immersion especially within a custom game though if they can do the lighting properly which the lighting does look very good in halo infinite and the texture quality is certainly there I think something like a true nighttime mode could really be possible within the custom games at least. I don't ever expect to see that happening with it comes to the multiplayer of Halo Infinite because you still need to have that visible functionality of the game so then people just don't hide in dark corners the whole time. But in random custom games, you could probably get away with something like that. And so this, just like that slight little change in lighting is a huge game changer when it comes to the actual gameplay of Halo Infinite's custom games. Some leaked images of the Forge monitors as well, which this might be placeholder stuff, but it looks very reminiscent of like the Halo 5, Halo 4 monitors. Uh, since we've seen with Zeta Halo, the monitors do look very different from what we've seen previously. I have a feeling it's much more of a placeholder. I mean, we still have months before the official release of Halo Infinite's Forge, so 
That's what I'm saying with a lot of these leaks that you can't really look too much into them. You kind of take them at face value and kind of get a general idea what's going on with that. And they've also showcased things like a gingerbread house and like a snowman you can add in there. So there are some really fun things that's getting thrown into here as well. So it's not gonna be like all super serious kind of materials you can work with. There's some creativity there that I think is gonna be really enjoyable once Forge finally comes around for Halo Infinite. I mean, we also kind of talked about this a little bit with my last video with the rash. We're doing a Q and A video and he brought up the idea of Forge, right? When Halo Infinite finally feels content complete, maybe when Forge releases, you know, with Halo 5, we, have, we didn't have Forge at launch, much like we have right now with Halo Infinite. But the thing with Halo 5's launch is that we still had Forge maps in the game because there might have not been a, a huge amount of developer made maps at the launch of Halo 5. Now with Halo Infinite, yeah, the map pool is a bit small. I think that's kind of one of the big pain point right now with the community and they're asking for more content when they mean by that is more customization more maps and things like that and what a fantastic way to pad out your maps than just go into forge and create some stuff in there which is relatively quick and easy obviously you still need to play test it and make sure it plays out well like any other map and that might be the reason why we haven't seen anything like this yet but since we haven't seen any Forge maps in the game yet, it makes me wonder how far away Forge really is from being put into the game. Or could we see Forge maps maybe with season two? Maybe, maybe if it gets delayed to season four, maybe see some maps in season three or something like that, that kind of give us an idea of what to expect with Forge. I could totally see like Forge maps coming into Halo Infinite, like a full season before the actual release of the feature. And there are some fantastic people who have worked on Forge and fantastic Forgers who are involved with the process of creating Forge right now within Halo Infinite. They have a bit of a council like they had with the multiplayer side of things. They had the same thing with the Forge people as well. And they could certainly provide some excellent content, I'm sure, to create some cool stuff. But again, you have to make sure that Forge is working properly before you can actually do that kind of stuff. And since we haven't seen anything about Forge like, at all, you know, that's what causes a little bit of this concern. It's just a really weird thing that I see with 343 and these various leaks. Like we've seen leaks about the various events, upcoming customizations, uh, game modes. We've seen leaks, especially about Forge as well. And the weird thing is, is that 343 isn't taking any of these down, which any other kind of game company, when a leak like this happens, especially this big of a leak or people data mine something like this, that they generally do a pretty good job of trying to squash it down, you know, cease and desist kind of stuff. But we're not seeing that at all from 343 because there's some Twitter accounts out there that are literally dedicated to just providing leaked information about Halo Infinite. And they've been up and running for months. Like if I know about them, if the community knows about these Twitter profiles and different discords, you know 343 definitely knows about them. And have they done anything about it? Have they tried rolling the ball to kind of do some legal kind of action against these guys? Nothing that I've heard. So is talking about leaked content, talking about leaked information like we're talking about right now with Forge, okay? It's a really great area. And the hard part about it too, especially as a content creator as myself, that I don't want to release something that isn't finished or provide a false narrative for a certain thing about the game, especially. And that's the hard thing to do where like, I see all these leaks and this is really cool information, really cool content. But then again, I don't want to like just go out there and share it because one, it might not be complete. Uh, it's a work in progress, which if you've ever had work in progress, you know you don't want that stuff kind of shared out to the general public. And also that it kind of ruins like the reveal once 343 gets around to actually revealing it. They go like, yeah, we, we really knew this was going to happen. So it's a real gray area. Um, I'll try my best to cover this kind of stuff, but generally when it comes to leaks like this, I won't show them on the channel because obviously it does give me a, a possibility to be shut down. And I obviously don't want to risk my YouTube channel over one single video. I just feel like 343 could completely control this narrative as well, because now seeing these leaks out there is causing false expectations and false assumptions when it comes to Forge. And that's the big point about like the community team as a whole, trying to create this uh, communication with the community and kind of control the narrative in a way. If I, you know, I've been following politics for a long time. If one thing that they always know how to do is control the narrative where if something really crazy or bad is happening, they go, no, 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 look over here. And then everyone starts paying attention to that. Everyone forgets about the next thing that, that happened like last week. So. I wonder if like 343 could possibly put together like some kind of blog update real quick or some kind of tweet from like either Sketch or Unichat kind of been like, hey, we see this stuff happening. 
don't get your hopes up too much on it. It's all a work in progress or something like that. Because right now, I think the community is kind of running wild with these leaks. Obviously, there's a lot more to the communication side of things that you can't just like freely tweet about Forge if you're a 343 employee with it. It's still very much a work in progress. That there are definitely people who are going like, no, don't talk about this. You can't talk about that. Maybe hint to this. Like, it's a very fine line. And that's what I'm kind of riding on right now. And uh, we'll see what happens in the future. But since, you know, it's out there. 343 definitely knows it's out there, but we'll just have to wait and see. If you're new to the channel and missing content from your recent, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself updated. Check out the videos on this channel right here if you're new to the channel or missing any content from your recently. Thank you much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.